My name is Rachel Michael Weiss. I grew up in the Washington, D.C. area. And I just finished a master's in sculpture at the San Francisco Art Institute. The piece that I showed at SOMARTS was enterable. About two people could enter at a time, and it had um, it was sort of a semicircular shape, and you could you could go into it. And when you were inside, you couldn't see you couldn't see around you except for the space that the opening left vacant. So you were kind of contained by this wall that went above your head. Richard Serra sculptures are. Um, massive steel sculptures that uh, are necessarily about masculinity just because of the way that they're fabricated. And of course, they're about his, um, his history um, of San Francisco. He's a San Francisco native um, growing up here and um, working on the docks. Um, so I think that I wanted to deal with that same amount of mass and that same amount of weight, you, and, but use something that um, that was that was soft um, or or seemingly soft, and I'm really interested in the body, and I'm interested in structures that are constructed to house the body. So the um, rope is rope functions to bind, to restrict, to tie two things together, um, and so I'm interested in the way that it can be used to talk about how the body is. Um, restricted or um, or bound, or just how we as humans um, impose restrictions on ourselves or create barriers where they might not exist or where they might exist. When I was exhibiting in the San Francisco Foundation and SOMART's Murphy and Cadigan Contemporary Arts Awards exhibition, I definitely I definitely learned that I was capable of exceeding my own expectations. I think that with that project, just in the making of it before I had found out that I'd won the award and then in sort of reinterpreting that sculpture to exhibit it in that space, I definitely bit off what I thought was more than I could chew, but then I was able to successfully install it and I felt like it was really successful. Um, so I think that I, I think I learned that I should set the, by, the bar um, exceptionally high for myself because I can because I could reach it if I worked hard. The sculpture that I showed at SOMARTS was um, one of the costlier pieces that I've made, but it also um, it also facilitated other opportunities. That piece actually was shipped from San Francisco to Philadelphia for the Fiber Philadelphia Biennial this past March. So that was that was exciting and I was happy that it got to be that it got to be shown again on the other coast. But I think that um, I think that, that piece did teach me to be more resourceful and to find cheaper ways of, uh, of finding materials that would suit my needs or say what I wanted them to say. Being a San Francisco artist today means being resourceful. I think being an artist today means being resourceful just because of the economic situation and because people don't have a lot of disposable income to spend on art. I think that artists have to uh, think more about responding to their environment, using their environment, using um, sight and duration as part of their work rather than thinking so much about materials. And I know that I feel that because uh, I think my work is very materially based, but I'm definitely moving more toward investigations of space than investigations of materials or objects. Yeah.